Vivek Ramaswamy is a 2024 presidential candidate. He joins us now. Vivek, welcome. You know, Vivek, you're an interesting candidate. I, I love watching you. And before I, I tee you up with this first question, you're no stranger to going into a hostile environment. Let's watch uh, some flashbacks of you in hostile territory. There's absolutely no evidence, Dana. unless you can show me some, that President Biden has had anything to do with this prosecution. Dana, That's why with, he put two layers in between. With, with due counsel. respect, I think it is shameful that I, as a competitor to President Trump in this race, have to ask questions that the media isn't asking. The job of the political media, if it has one job, is to hold the U.S. government accountable. Yes, we know that. And instead, we're doing the bidding. You're seeing the media doing the bidding of the U.S. government. No. Ask the question. Get to the bottom of what Biden told Garland and what Garland told Jack Smith. If the same shoe fit the other foot, you would not take their word at face value. Do not take their word now. Now, some candidates, they're not going into hostile territory. What's motivating you? So, look, I'm running to lead a nation, not a political party. And if I'm asking the people of this country to give me permission to represent the United States of America across the table from Xi Jinping, I better be willing to sit across the table from Dana Bash or Chuck Todd or Don Lemon, all of whom I'm visited. Now, Chuck Todd and Don Lemon are no longer on the air after my interviews with them. But I think that if we're going to lead this country, we have to be willing to take the heat. And I'm in this race for a reason. We're running to lead a nation. In fact, Kaylee, tomorrow I'll be heading to Kensington, Pennsylvania, outside of Philadelphia. Not only where many Republicans don't go, frankly, many Democrats and even police officers don't go there. I went to the south side of Chicago recently as well. So that's what I think it take, takes to actually be a leader who's willing to show up. That's what I like to do. Well, Vivek, to your point, if these guys no longer are with those shows after you go on, I have a few places I'd like to send you. Um, but putting that aside, you know, Joe Biden, one of the things he's doing is staying out of the headlines. If you win the nomination, there is a good chance he hides in the Oval. How are you going to smoke him out of the Oval? So, look, I want to see him on that debate stage and have him meet the same fate that Don Lemon did, put him out of a job. But the real issue here, Kaylee, let's get to the bottom of what's going on. Biden's cognitive deficits are not a bug. They are a feature because he is really just a puppet for the managerial class and the administrative state as it exists today. And I actually have somewhat of a contrarian prediction, Kaylee. If there's a scenario where President Trump's out of the race, Biden is actually the puppet they want to put up against him. But the reason they have the document investigation going against Biden is they're going to pull that card on him whenever he stops being a convenient puppet for them. So we have to see through that farce. This is not Biden just being an unintelligent rambler. He is a puppet for the administrative state. That's the truth. Vivek, thank you. Joining us now is Florida Congressman Byron Donalds. Congressman, you know, Jonathan Turley, who has such a way with